Hello everyone, this is a quick training session on the Drupal Easy Add Poster, which we call EAPD2. And um, starting up here in the upper left, you have the file menu, um, which gives you just the uh, exit option. What we're going to be covering today is mostly just uh, tools and settings and then creating a campaign. Uh, so here you've got the uh, the registration uh, key for the software. Um, your key is going to be quite a bit longer than that. It's not a, uh, a regular word. Uh, and um, and then you've got um, the various different settings for um, to where where to look at uh, in Craigslist. Uh, for for instance, the login URL and the, uh, the proxy test URL, that sort of thing. Most of this stuff you don't need to uh, to really mess with. Um, you're, feel free to uh, mess with the post delay, inner post delay, the web timeout, whatever works best for you and and, uh, and the way that you post. If you're using proxies, you want to have this uh, use proxy set to true. If you're not using proxies, then have that set to false. Um, let's see, um, captcha, pause. Um, you want that set to uh, to zero if um, if you're not using uh, captcha. But in that case, it doesn't really even matter if you're um, if you're if you're using captcha uh, breaking technology. You probably want to have that set to like five to ten seconds or so. Um, I've I've set it to various different speeds, uh, and you can test that to see what works best for you. Um, your user ID is here, so if you ever need to change your user ID or you set up a new poster on a separate computer but you've installed with the same files and you need to reset that, um, you want to set that there because each user ID is only good for four machine IDs. So it will only work on four machines. And uh, the screenshot uh, browser width, there you go. Uh, most of this stuff you're going to really pretty much the same. You, this one is pretty uh, key right here. Make sure this is set to false if you have not paid for a, uh, a CAPTCHA um, service like image to text which is built in here. And um, the rest of this, I'm just going to scroll, scroll through really quick and you can, uh, you can start out with these uh, settings and, uh, and that should get you going the purpose of this video. Alright, so let's try to uh, create a campaign here. To create a campaign, you go to Manage Campaigns, Add New Campaign, and let's say, um, let's go for a computer gig. Type in a demo email here. Not a real email address, but that'll work. If we had a Craigslist account that we wanted to add, we would add it here. I'm not going to add a Craigslist account. This is where you would put in uh, any phone verified accounts that you purchase or any phone verified accounts you create for yourself or whatever. And you would just put this in here, add new Craigslist account. But we're not going to do that. So we'll just cancel there. And, okay, so new user mistake. Click on that. That would post to all Craigslist locations. Not a good idea. And that's why we have a confirmation window that pops up and says, whoa there, not a good idea. So are you sure you want to continue? No, I want to do that. Um, so let's post in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama. How about that? All right. We need a computer. Uh, you could also put in a, uh, it's a little advanced, but you can put in a token like that, and that will uh, that will show Tuscaloosa as well. But if you wanted to post this in multiple locations, you wouldn't have to create multiple ads. That token right there would uh, would just uh, display the uh, the location wherever you're posting. Put in your uh, your text here for the ad, 
Um, this is the HTML editor. You can actually put in HTML here, or you can uh, format um, the way you see it right here, and it will add the, uh, the HTML tags for you that will be posted in Craigslist. Here's the, uh, the rest of the settings of the Craigslist ad. We update this as Craigslist updates the, uh, the various different options in here. So, you know, no pay. I don't want to pay anybody. Um, I want Peter Guru to help for free, right? <laughs> and uh, the do not show email address, reply to an anonymous Craigslist, allow others to contact you. If you want to do that, we'll use the anonymous Craigslist account. Do you want to create another ad? Save this one, you click that. Nope, we're done. Okay, so computer guru. Save. Alright, so we can post this as many times as we want. Post it. Um, we would just hit post, post campaigns, post selected campaigns, and that would post to Craigslist. Um, so let's do a test run of that. So this gives you the dry run options. I selected uh, dry run right there. So gives you a, uh, a temporary directory, um, I mean a default directory to post to, and then an output template right there. So, okay. And then when it's done posting, it shows success right there, shows you the last time that it was run, 